Karamihan sa ating mga mommies, nagre-resort tayo sa YouTube or Facebook para makapag-seek tayo ng support or help during our pregnancy. Pero alam niyo ba, mommies, na the more that you are able to convince your husband to be part of your pregnancy, the more na nalolower mo yung risk mo para magkaroon ng cesarean section or yung tinatawag nilang CS. Hi, mommies! Welcome sa channel ko. Kung bago ka dito, ang channel ko po ay tungkol sa mga experiences ko bilang first-time mom as a wife and mostly yung experience ko kung papaano ako nagkaroon ng positive labor and delivery by means of hypnobirthing. For today, mommies, isi-share ko sa inyo kung ano yung sa tingin kong way para ma-avoid ninyo ang cesarean section or yung CS. Although, of course, in many circumstances, it is inevitable or hindi maiiwasan ang mga anak via CS. But at least, pwede mong ma-prevent yun by means of some things that you can do to help yourself deliver via normal delivery. Alam nyo ba na there is a study which shows na yung mga mommies na nag-hire ng birthing doula can reduce their risk to having CS for 25%. So, napakalaking bagay nung 25% na yon, Which gives us mommies hope na, ah, okay, pwede pala na maiwasan ko na ma CS and ma-promote ko sa body ko yung pagkakaroon ng normal delivery. Sa US, napakauso ng word na birthing doula or normal lang para sa kanila yung birthing doula. Actually, nalaman ko yung word na doula nung buntis ako kasi sa hypnobirthing, isinasuggest na magkaroon ka ng birthing doula. And with my advocacy na mabigyan yung mga mothers ng awareness na pwede sila magkaroon ng positive labor and delivery by means of hypnobirthing, narealize ko dito sa Pilipinas, halos hindi natin alam yung word na doula or at least wala tayong uh, masasabing pwede nating i-hire as doula dahil nga hindi uso sa atin yon. But anyway, I'm sure at least sa ngayon, hindi pa siya ganun ka kilala dito sa Pilipinas. And that's where I came up with an alternative. Which is, yun nga sinasabi ko sa inyo, mommies, that you have to convince your husband to be part of your pregnancy. I mean, to be involved as much as he can with your pregnancy dahil sila yung best na person na pwede niyong maging alternative as your doula, birthing doula. And ang tanong, ano ba ang birthing doula? Ang doula ay non-medical related person na tumutulong sa isang mommy na ma-achieve niya yung ultimate support or comfort na ma marireceive niya during her pregnancy up until her labor and delivery. Ito yung tao na hinahire para maging support system ng isang buntis during her pregnancy up until manganak siya. Actually, ang support na ibinibigay ng dula ay emotional support. Meaning to say, hindi sila doctor or nurse or anything related to medicine. They are just people who help the mother or yung pregnant woman para ma-process yung information na binibigay sa kanila ng mga doctors nila in a way na maging positibo ang pag-intindi nila ng mga bagay-bagay. For example, nag-ultrasound yung mother at yung result, it turns out, breach yung position ng baby. So, ang role ng isang dula ay para tulungan yung isang mommy to understand it calmly na ang pagiging breach ay okay lang and eventually, may mga paraan din naman para maiwasan or matulungan yung baby na umikot sa tamang position. Yung breach ay yung suhe. Ganon. So, yung dula, tutulungan niya yung mommy na sa pag -e exercise niya, ganon. And, iko-comfort niya yung mommy and she will tell the mommy or he will tell the mommy na, okay, don't worry. Hindi mo kailangan mag-worry. You have to calm down because there is a way to help your child. Now, mommies, considering lahat na mga requirements para maging isang dula, I'm sure mag-aagree kayo sa akin na qualified 100% yung mga partners or yung mga husbands ninyo. Well, of course, ibang usapan na dun sa mga mommies na hindi nila kasama yung mga asawa nila, katulad ko noon. Now that you are able to convince your husband or yung relative mo para maging birthing doula mo, ang tanong ngayon kung how can they help you 
to be able to have a normal delivery or to prevent your chances of having CS. So, ito yung mga tips ko sa inyo, mommies. Number one is learn the breathing technique together. So, there are a lot of videos on YouTube kung papaano yung breathing technique. So, in my case, ang breathing technique na ginamit ko during the time na naglilibra ako and very useful din nung time na buntis ako was yung breathe in through your nose and slowly breathe out through your mouth. For example, ganito. So, yung breathing technique na yun, very helpful sa akin nung time na buntis ako dahil it helps me relax and also very helpful din pag constipated ako. Now, nung time na naglilabor ako, very effective siya para maisko ko yung labor pains na tinatawag. Paano ka matutulungan ng husband mo with practicing the proper breathing technique? So, you can set a time para mag-meditate kayo together. It does not mean na yung mag-meditate kayo na parang magpakabuda kayo to meditate. Uh, this does not apply, I'm sure, lalo na sa mga tao or lalo na sa mga lalaki. Walang kaseryo-seryosong um, interest sa pag-meditate. So, one thing that you can do or one way you can do to practice breathing technique is, for example, try nyo lang mag-set. Just for starters, try nyo lang mag-set ng 5 minutes um, during the night time. Mag-light kayo ng candle, play kayo ng very good music, ganyan, relaxing music. And 5 minutes lang na mag-breathing exercise kayo. This is very, while you are lying down maybe or sitting down together. Alam nyo, kapag na master ninyong dalawa ito, hindi lang kay mommy helpful yon, hindi lang sa pregnant woman helpful yon. Very helpful din to sa isang daddy. I'm sure dahil nakaka-relax siya, nakaka-distress siya. And of course, um, malaking tulong to sa mga daddies na syempre, bilang first time dad, pressured sila sa mga responsibilities sa bahay and also at work. So, yung breathing exercise na to will be very helpful and healthy sa inyong dalawa. Next tip ko naman ay exercise together with your husband. This is very good para sa mga mag-asawa na talagang sanay na mag-gym together or mag-exercise together. But for Yung mga couples na hindi naman talaga sanay mag-exercise, the best thing that you guys can do is to go for long walks together. It is also very helpful. It is also very good kapag habang you guys are going for a walk, eh, nagkakaroon kayo ng mga short conversations about life, ganon, kung ano yung mga plans niyo together, and also kung ano yung mga nararamdaman ni mommy about sa pregnancy niya, and this is also a very good opportunity para makapagkwentuhan din kayo ni husband kung anong nangyayari sa kanya sa work, as well as kung meron ba siyang mga nagwa-wonder na questions niya kay mommy tungkol sa pregnancy niya. And during this long walk, siguro may makakalimutan yung napagod kayo kapag ka maganda yung conversation ninyo. Magandang opportunity rin ito para i-share ni mommy kung ano yung mga nalalaman niya tungkol sa pregnancy ko. In this way, magkakaroon ng knowledge si daddy kung ano yung mga nangyayari sa katawan ni mommy habang nagbubuti siya. And also, magandang opportunity to para magkaroon ng idea si daddy kung papaasa niya matutulungan si mommy. So, ba habang nag exercise kayo together, nakakapagkwentuhan kayo, nawawala yung stress ninyong dalawa. And at the same time, very healthy yung relationship nyo as couple kahit na preoccupied kayo pareho with the husband sa work niya and with the wife sa pregnancy niya, ba? Next naman ay eat healthy together. 
or eat in moderation. Meaning, you can indulge together with your husband but in moderation. In this way, matutulungan nyo yung isa't isa na mag-eat healthy as early as now in preparation sa pagiging parents ninyo. Kasi syempre, malaking bagay pag parents na kayo, pag nakikita ng mga anak ninyo, yung kinakain ninyo, ba? Diba? So anyway, let your husband be involved in your food intake. Go to the grocery together, plan the food together, and eat together. Kasi nga, ba? it is very good when a mom eats healthy food. Pero mas very good pa sa isang mommy kapag happy siya habang kumakain. So, meaning with the presence of yung daddy and the mother together eating, the pregnant woman eating together, can give you that feeling of happiness. Meaning, pag masayo isang mommy, kasama yung asawa niya na kumakain, gives her a very healthy experience, healthy and happy pregnancy experience. Next tip ko naman is during labor, let your husband be around you. Um, habang nag-deep breathing ka to ease yung labor contractions or labor pains na tinatawag, malaking bagay yung nakayakap ka sa asawa mo or nirarab ka niya sa likod dahil sabi nga nila yung hugging o kaya yung touching helps the mother produce oxytocin which is very essential sa panganganak niya. And last tip is yung nandyan lang sa tabi mo or just around you to support you or to comfort you, yung asawa mo. Isang very good way yon para matulungan yung isang mother na magkaroon ng kalmado at positibong labor and delivery as well as pregnancy. Dahil of course, if you know that your husband supports you and comforts you with your journey through your pregnancy up until your delivery. Napakalaking security blanket yon para sa isang mother. And because of that, nawawala yung stress hormones na tinatawag during the time na mga nganak yung isang mommy. And yung tension nawawala din yon Mas nagiging kalmado yung body na isang mommy to help it be able to do what it has to do para ma-deliver na maayos yung baby ninyo. So anyway, mommies, I hope ma-convince niyo yung mga asawa niyo to be part of your pregnancy and your delivery dahil malaking bagay yon para makatulong sa inyo to be able to have a normal delivery. Kumbaga, teamwork ng isang couple yon and it let it be part of your couple goals. Always remember, it is possible na magkaroon kayo ng positive labor and delivery. Nana, here, pa. Nana. Mm, here.